Don's going, going to, to the ATM. Hook up old Crenshaw with some cash Ola. Yo, Bryant! Wake up! We got time. No, you gotta start rehearsing your lines. You got a big day today. Tell me a story. It's time to get up. About the shortest, blackest guy you know. Oh, well, that story belongs to me. All me. Hats off to Crenshaw. That son of a bitch. I remember several times driving around Nashville trying to find him. And we always stopped at the same restaurant place looking for him. The Red Iguana. We're coming, Crenshaw. The spoons are coming. We would usually find him just sort of walking around the street. <laughs> Walking somewhere in some alley or down some road, and somehow we would just find him. It was kind of a hut. I was the pimp that night, baby. Oh yeah. But I was in love. I was. I was like, oh my god. I'm an independent filmmaker, and I'm making a film right now. Do you want to be in my film? Of course, he said yes. <laughs> I like. I like fucking with you, man. Okay. I'm still on your side. The day before we were supposed to shoot, try. We're trying to get home. Colin his brother couldn't get a hold, so we drove down to Nashville, driving everywhere. My brother sent me on what they would call a wild goose chase, and I was looking for a wild goose that I had never seen in my life. Wait, 16, take three. And Spike, as they say, Spike uh, Jeff Brandt, he was the only one that even knew like the general area of where he might be. We had enough of like the worst part of the dash, but so. Couldn't find him, asking people, just waiting to get shot, killed, murdered, or maybe fuck a crack whore. None of that happened. I decided, you know what, fuck this, man. Fuck my brother for fucking sending me down here to find some motherfucker that doesn't exist, and if he does exist, you don't even have an address for the motherfucker. You just, oh yeah, well this is where I saw him twice. We were looking for about six, seven hours just driving around Nashville. We couldn't find him. We almost gave up. Want to watch TV? Miracles happen. Yeah. I'm pulling out of a parking lot and I look in my rear view mirror and I see a little wee man. Have you done this before? Yeah. He didn't even know me. He'd never met me. You don't even know my motherfucking name. Is, what is your name, man? Huh? Stone. And oh, stone. okay. That's why I don't know, cause I'm, st I'm stone. <laughs> and uh, I coaxed him into the car, promised him money, babes, booze. Basically, that was it. What's up, man? What's up, man? All right. What's up with you? What's up with you, man? Just put some shit together? Okay. And literally, after our production meeting, after our line reading... You don't want to read anything? Uh-uh. Why the fuck did I just go grab this then? After everything that's completely professional in a real motion picture... Hey, I have every bit of faith in you. You've got plenty of time. You fucking read your lines in the morning. You remember them. It's simple. Fuck it. Is it just time. like time you shoot? That's right. He wanted to bounce to go back to Nashville. And our shoot was in like five hours. Cool, that sounded awesome. You should, uh, you should say he's back on Oprah slower. We never took him back for three days. We got him plenty fucked up though. For that ta ha kit. What? I've got style. Here's your shirt for the first day. All right. For that ta ha kit. What?